This is the most important candle close of the entire four year Bitcoin cycle. And when we go back historically and look at how this signal has affected the price, I think you are absolutely going to be surprised at what the future holds. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the most timely and the juiciest Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. On the monthly chart, we can see that the Bitcoin price is right now coming back down to retest the most important support resistance flip for the past three years. We can see that this goes all the way back to December 2020 during the last bull market where Bitcoin got its first retracement finding perfect support at the green box around 28.5 to 29.5 thousand. This was our support in July 2021, a support resistance flip in the spring of 2022. And now we have broken out and we're coming back down to retest it on the monthly time frame. When we take a look at June's candle, this was a bullish engulfing candle. What does that mean? It means this candle is a bullish candle and is completely engulfed the entire bearish month of May. We are currently one day and 11 hours away from closing the monthly candle of July. And if we can hold this very important box, in my opinion, this is a bullish breakout and retest. Now, bullish breakout and retest, very, very powerful signal. Breakout retest is how we were able to give this juicy long swing trade setup in the Casper Crew VIP Discord in advance as we were looking for the price to come back down and retest what used to be resistance as a port. Shout out to everybody in Casper Crew who's still holding this juicy swing long just like I am currently up right now about a thousand percent in profit. And not only did we long the exact bottom in the Casper Crew but we also took a short literally from the exact top setup given in advance and currently we are also long from the local bottom right here at $28.9,000. If you want to join the community where every single day we give multiple live streams, we give our levels, our trade setups, our trading ideas, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com. Go ahead and click the link to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord. This is not a signals group, guys, but it is an educational group. If you want to learn how to trade this way, exactly how I trade, check out the 25% discount on both courses. Links to all of this is in the pinned comment and the description of this video. Also, if you want to take advantage of the volatility of these markets, longing and shorting Bitcoin and altcoins, in the description and the pinned comment, links to my favorite exchanges, MEXC, the best deal on trading fees out there, 0% limit order fees, 0.01% market order fees, an amazing deal, especially for people who are trading and scalping on the lower term time frames. My other go-to exchange is ZoomX, a centralized and a decentralized exchange on the same platform. This year, the Casper Crew is participating in the World Series of Trading on ZoomX. Last year, guys, when we did this on Bybit, I think we were number 14. We were definitely in the top 20. This year, guys, we're going to be doing it on ZoomX. If you want to join, if you're a bad trader, it will not negatively affect the team. But if you are one of the top 10 traders, our PNL is put together for the prize pool up to $7 million. A whole bunch of other cool things if you want to join. Links in the description and pinned comment during the competition. There are lots of giveaways as well as a 20% discount on all trading fees. Definitely a good time if you're interested in trading along with us for the World Series of Trading. So as the Bitcoin price is coming down to retest this massive support resistance flip, when we take a look at the weekly time frame, it is giving us perfect confluence with the 20-week simple moving average. Why is the 20-week simple moving average so important? When we go back historically and just look at this moving average, when we look back on the monthly time frame, we can see that this 20-week moving average is pretty much telling us, are we going to continue to the upside or to the downside? Once we get a big break on the monthly above this level and hold above, it points to more downside. But once we get a monthly close below this level, it leads to more downside. Why is this so important? We are about one year away right now from the Bitcoin halving. And so we know historically, based on probabilities, the bottom of the market cycle is in. And if we get any kind of dip in price, it presents us with an amazing opportunity to buy Bitcoin very cheaply. And there are two potential scenarios that could play out here. Number one is the more bullish scenario, similar to what we saw back in 2015, after the cycle bottomed out, about a year before the Bitcoin halving, we got that bullish engulfing candle on the monthly, closed above this 20-week moving average, and literally it was also the
we could not close a monthly candle below this 20 moving average all the way till the top of the bull market in 2018. Now, the second scenario, which is a little bit more bearish, is once the bottom of the cycle is in, we actually do close a monthly candle below that 20 week moving average, which gives us a massive opportunity to accumulate Bitcoin before the halving. And the halving happened probably, I think it was around the summer of 2020. Right, we can accumulate Bitcoin leading to the halving, in which case we can get a big move to the upside. So in my opinion, this is a win-win situation. The one thing that makes this situation right here very unique is the massive confluence that we're seeing right now between the 20-week moving average and this three-year support resistance flip with one day and 11 hours away from this monthly candle close. Keep in mind what has happened here. Bullish engulfing on the monthly. Coming back down to retest a massive support resistance flip are we going to see another big move to the upside right now in the coming weeks? Well, the reality is we cannot know for certain what's going to happen, but what we can do now is use this very key zone as a line in the sand, a line of demarcation telling us how we are going to manage our positions moving forward. We understand if we lose and close a monthly candle below this level, it becomes very bearish. And now we can look for these bearish divergences on the high term timeframes to play out. However, if we hold this level, that is objectively bullish with the market structure, and we can look for another push to the upside, which in my opinion is going to take us to around that $35,000 level, where I personally will be looking for a local top where we can experience a more significant pullback in this local uptrend. So this is it, guys. 28.5 thousand to 29.5 thousand. That is the line in the sand for Bitcoin for the next few months. Make sure to keep your eyes on the chart. That's going to be it for today's video. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed. And I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.